Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I will be going to show you how you can set up your Raspberry Pi. So for this you need a micro SD card and an adapter to plug it into your computer. And I will be using a Raspberry Pi 3 to show you. So let's get started. For installing the Raspbian operating system, I would recommend you to have a memory card of at least 16 GB of storage. So we will take the memory card and we will insert it in the micro SD card adapter and put it in the computer. Before burning our operating system to the memory card we will format so the here is a removable disk G we will format it and then we will select start so ok so now the format is completed Now we will go to the Raspberry site, that is raspberrypi.org. Now we will go to the downloads and we will download the Raspbian operating system. Now we will download the Raspbian stretch with desktop. So you may download it with the torrent or download zip. So we will download the zip folder. I already have it downloaded on my system. Now next we will go to the installation guide and go down up to here and download the itcher and install it on our system. So download for Windows 64 bit. I have already downloaded this and installed it on my system. So next we will go to the download location and find our Raspberry Pi zip file so once you find the downloaded raspbian stretch for a file just open it and extract the image to your desired location okay it will take some time so finally our image file has been extracted so now we will straightly go to the itcher program and then we will select our image file now I have kept the image file over here and we will select this and now we need to select the location of our SD card or the drive so it is already located over here 15.93 GB so continue and now we will click the flash so we need to grant some permissions yeah okay. so it will take some time like about 15 minutes or so 
be patient and wait until it is done. So once the process is completed, we will eject our micro SD card. And next, we will insert the micro SD card in the Raspberry Pi like this and make sure you hold your raspberry pi by its corners because the electrostatic charge present on your palm might destroy your raspberry pi so if you want to hold your raspberry pi make sure you touch a heavy metal like the body of your cpu before holding the raspberry pi so now let's go and plug our Raspberry Pi to the monitor and test it out. Here you can see I have connected the power cable, the HDMI cable and my keyboard and mouse to the Raspberry Pi and let's power on our Raspberry Pi. So as you can see our Raspbian stretch has successfully booted up. In my next video I will be showing you how you can configure your Raspberry Pi with OpenCV. Thanks for watching. Stay creative. See you next time.